There's still a long road ahead. Uh, what? Weren't we at a waterfall just now? Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Hmm. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset familiar night we're looking for should be in here. Really? My Pi- Look, it's gone and snuck, and now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. These are not real clouds. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. All right, then let's do it. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? My will and 
disembodied. The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Doesn't look good. Is everyone okay? Look! The Celia disappeared beneath the clouds again! Hmm. It looks like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Dreams! 
your master's bidding. Ugh. Take your true form. Frostbite. Freeze. Cool it. Otherwise, that could have ended very differently. <laughs> uh, hey! That Sealy's on the move again! Let's catch up with it! Huh. Something looks different about this stone wall. Let's take a closer look. Your luck. Boba, get them. Eat this. Nice and spicy. your luck. Cool it. This moment will be frozen in time. Freeze. Obey. Dodge this. Come <laughs> on. 
incarnate! Manifest! Configuration! Obey! Oh! Ah! Huh. Don't get frostbite! Huh. What's the hurry? Leave no stone unturned. Boba, you get them! needs assistance. Hm? A 
Is this it? Is this the Sunset Vermilionite? It's so huge! That's true, but then again, why isn't it floating? Pawstrite doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. Hold on a sec! Paimon just realized something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too! But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely! Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Uh, be careful. Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. My safety. That's right! Paimon's sure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense. Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. How is Shenha able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Adepti super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. 
As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold her head up high and break into a big, smug smile! I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus. Treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh... Shanna? <sighs> I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. All right? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel.